As long as he can remember, author Viet Thanh Nguyen has been interested in how stories about his home country of Vietnam are told in America. In his own works, including the Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Sympathizer, he centers on the voices of refugees like himself. And tonight, he offers his brief but spectacular take on writing and memory. It's part of our ongoing arts and culture series, Canvas. I think anybody who has been touched by a war uh, never forgets it. And that's been true for me. I never learned anything about Vietnam, as far as I can remember, in school. It just wasn't even a subject. I got most of my education through Hollywood and through the books that I was finding in the public library because I was very curious and you know about where we had come from and what that what that history was. And for the most part, that history was completely American centered. Sometimes that was benevolent exclusion of the Vietnamese, but oftentimes it was also deeply racist and sexist when it came to the depiction of Vietnamese people. And that was, that was shocking for me, and it played a big role in shaping my psyche and my determination to be a writer and a scholar who could do something different about that history. I was four years old when Saigon fell or was liberated, depending on your point of view. So of course my memories of that time are, are really undependable. I vaguely remember soldiers riding on tanks. I sort of remember sailors on our boat shooting at another boat. We arrived in the United States in the summer of 1975 and we were resettled in, uh, in a refugee camp in Fort Indian Town Gap in Pennsylvania. And that's where my memories really begin and I remember those barracks and storing those feelings and those memories away to eventually write about them. And so the tension here, of course, is that everything eventually needs to be forgotten in some way for us to move on and survive. And with the war in Vietnam, we reached a point where those people, that generation, is starting to fade away. And that's obviously a great loss in one way, but it's also a great opportunity for other people to step in and to tell different stories, either stories about moving on or stories about that time that have the luxury of emotional distance. And I think that's where I'm at. I think that I've been lucky that The Sympathizer has been read by a, a number of people. It's inevitable that you're, when you're talking about a war and a tragedy and a trauma, if you have anything meaningful to say, it will probably be controversial because people are still divided about it. Now, I've always thought of myself as a writer who works in conjunction with movements. When I take on that label of being an Asian American writer, what I'm saying is I'm a writer in relationship to Asian American communities and Asian American political and social movements. It was through writing that I could fight for my place in American society, but also in the global imagination as well. I'm Viet Thanh Nguyen, and this is my brief but spectacular take on writing and memory. And you can watch more Brief But Spectacular videos at pbs.org newshour slash brief.